This business about who's the biggest, who's the baddest, who's got the biggest gun. This president keeps edging that on. Yeah. You know, he's a bully. He has a bully mentality. He's over there whose gun is the biggest. And that's what you hear. This arms race is just mounting. We need someone in the presidency who not only has good sense, but understands diplomacy and understands what we need to do to have peace in this world so that we can all look forward uh, to the possibility that we're someday, we're someday going to have a world that's about peace and justice and respect for individual liberty. And so that's what that's all about. Is that your stump that, speech for 2020? That's kind of, that's kind of. <laughs> Is she running? Is she running? National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America. Congress, in Cobra. In Cobra, thank you. Congressman uh, Waters, uh, the global reparations movement is advancing mightily on the planet. Uh, our brothers and sisters in the Caribbean are suing the nations of, the, of Europe that uh, had uh, involvement in the enslavement of the Caribbean. In uh, Europe, our brothers and sisters in London are crafting uh, legislation. On the continent of Africa, we understand that there will be a major reparations conference in 2019, 2020. Here in America, the only federal legislation, the federal push to have this country redress the crimes against African people has been HR 40. And uh, no, now that Congressman Conyers is no longer there, uh, we need someone to stand up and push this legislation forward. You have historically been a supporter of this legislation. We ask that you co-sponsor now, and not only co-sponsor, become an active co-sponsor. You have a relationship with the millennial as Auntie Maxine that no other congressperson has. And we're in Congress personally right now today asking you to become more active in the role of Push HR 40. I'll be happy to do that. That's no problem. I will be happy to do that. That's no problem. In order to get where we need to go on this issue and other issues, we've really got to understand that 2018 is important to taking back the House and taking back the Senate. And of course, we've got to get the White House. Now, if we want to get to the point where we can get reparations, we've got to have the power to do that. Number one, by having a supportive president would be wonderful, but taking back the House would be absolutely wonderful. And so, yes, I'm Maxine Waters. I am a progressive. I am a liberal. I am someone who is willing to step way outside of the box in order to do what America has not done. But let's understand, I need y'all to register and vote. I need to take back that house so that we can have a majority in the committee. I am the ranking member of the Financial Services Committee that oversees Wall Street and HUD and all of that. And by the way, we're going to take care of Ben Carson, too.